like all regular people I grew up with in the heartland, J.D. studied at Yale, <laughs> had his career funded by Silicon Valley billionaires, and then wrote a bestseller trashing that community. Come on! That's not what middle America is. And I gotta tell you, I can't wait to debate the guy. That is, if, you, if he's willing to get off the couch and show up. So, <laughs> you see what I did there? That was Governor Tim Walls of Minnesota speaking before a packed house in Philadelphia. That was the first speech he gave with Vice President Kamala Harris since she selected him as her VP running mate. I think there is a live shot of J.D. Vance after that moment right there. Let's take a look. By the way, that's a real photo of J.D. Vance from college. Then Governor Tim Wall speaking before this packed house in Philadelphia talked about not only was crime up under Donald Trump's tenure, but Trump himself was committing a lot of crimes as well. Play this clip. Now, Donald Trump sees the world a little differently than us. First of all, he doesn't know the first thing about service. He doesn't have time for it because he's too busy serving himself. Again and again and again. Trump weakens our economy to strengthen his own hand. He mocks our laws. He sows chaos and division. And that's to say nothing of his record as president. He froze in the face of the COVID crisis. He drove our economy into the ground. And make no mistake, Violent crime was up under Donald Trump. That's not even counting the crimes he committed. Governor Walls then goes on to talk about the importance of protecting our freedoms and that he and Vice President Kamala Harris will work to protect the freedoms of Americans. Play this clip. Some of us, some of us in here are old enough to remember. I see you down there. I see those old white guys. Some of us are old enough to remember when it was Republicans who were talking about freedom. It turns out now what they meant was the government should be free to invade your doctor's office. In Minnesota, we respect our neighbors and their personal choices that they make. Even if we wouldn't make the same choice for ourselves, there's a golden rule. Mind your own damn business. These guys are after my heart, Chent, mind your own damn business. That feels good, so thank you. Look. Before Governor Walls spoke, Vice President Kamala Harris explained how Governor Walls is ready on day one to lead as her VP. Play this clip. With his experience, I'm telling you, Tim Walls will be ready on day one. In fact, when you compare his resume <laughs> Shall we? 
to Trump's running mate. Well, 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 some might say it's like, it's like a matchup between the varsity team and the JV squad. <laughs> More from Vice President Kamala Harris's portion of the speech, where she gave some of the background on Governor Walls. Play the clip. Coach! Coach! And I'll say and I'll add, Tim wasn't only a role model on the football field. Around that same time, Coach Walls was approached by a student in his social studies class. The young man was one of the first openly gay students at the school and was hoping to start a gay straight alliance. At a time, at a time when acceptance was difficult to find for LGBTQ students, Tim knew the signal that it would send to have a football coach get involved. the group's faculty advisor. And as students have said, he made the school a safe place for everybody. In the high school yearbook, the students voted Coach Walls the, quote, most inspiring faculty member. As I think everyone here can see, Tim Walls was the kind of teacher and mentor that every child in America dreams of having and that every kid deserves. The kind of coach, because he's the kind of person who makes people feel like they belong and then inspires them to dream big. And that's the kind of vice president he will be. And that's the kind of vice president America deserves. More from Vice President Kamala Harris here. Play the clip. So America, for some folks, they're just getting to know Coach Waltz's story. And I'll tell you, he is the proud product of a middle-class family in rural Nebraska. He is a veteran who served our nation in uniform for more than two decades as a member of the Army National Guard and he went to college on the GI Bill. He is someone who long before he entered politics worked as a teacher. When Coach Walls and his wife Gwen moved from his native Nebraska to Minnesota nearly 30 years ago, they both took jobs at the local high school. <laughs> Coach Walls taught social studies, Gwen taught English. After school, Tim was the linebacker's coach for the football team. <laughs> Where I've heard the stories about he had a knack for using the game of football to teach life lessons. He saw the potential in kids who sometimes didn't even see it in themselves. A 
Under those Friday night lights, Coach Walls motivated his players to believe they could achieve anything. And together, they defied the odds, hear this out, going from a winless record to the school's first ever state championship. Just take a look at this crowd, by the way. We haven't seen a crowd this fired up in a very long time. Play the clip. Also, take a look at this side-by-side -side of when Donald Trump spoke at the same stadium versus the speech that was just given by Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Tim Walls. Before Governor Walls and Vice President Kamala Harris spoke, you had the governor of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro, speak. Here's Governor Shapiro. Play the clip. Are you ready to do your part? Are you ready to form a more perfect union? Are you ready to build an America where no matter what you look like, where you come from, who you love or who you pray to, that this will be a place for you? And are you ready to look the next president of the United States in the eye and say, hello, Madam President. I am too, so let's get to work. Governor Shapiro talks about the importance of real freedom and protecting freedoms. Play the clip. And, and Kamala Harris and Tim Walls Believe in a real freedom where you can marry who you love and be who you are. Now, During Governor Shapiro's speech, the crowd erupts in a chant calling Shady Vance a weirdo. They go, weirdo, he's a weirdo. Listen to this, play the clip. And Donald Trump? Well, he's now got a partner with him. Y'all see that guy? Yeah. J.D. Vance, he's not, he's not exactly off to a good start. I think we can all agree on that. But I think part of the reason why he's not off to a good start is this, and it's serious. He doesn't know who he is. And he's not being honest with himself, so he can't be honest with the American people. He can't. Now, so, so, if, if, if I hear you right, and I think I do, you're chanting, he's a weirdo. Which means, man, I love you, Philly. Which means, if you're chanting, he's a weirdo, then you heard of my good friend and our next vice president, Tim Walls. Because Tim Walls 
in his beautiful Midwestern plain spoken way, he summed up J.D. Vance the best. He's a weirdo. And as the Mueller she wrote account writes, Tim Walls is a real life Ted Lasso. I haven't seen a rally like this in my entire life. The energy is palpable and undeniable. Donald Trump must be terrified. And indeed, Donald Trump is terrified, posting things like this. So what Donald Trump just posted. What are the chances that crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of the U.S., whose presidency was unconstitutionally stolen from him by Kamabla, Barack Hussein Obama, crazy Nancy Pelosi, shifty Adam Schiff, crying Chuck Schumer, and others on the lunatic left, crashes the Democrat National Convention and tries to take back the nomination, beginning with challenging me to another debate. He feels that he made a historically tragic mistake by handing over the U.S. presidency, a coup, to the people in the world he most hates, and he wants it back now. And then Donald Trump keeps on posting, and he writes, this is the most radical left duo in American history. There has never been anything like it, and there never will be again. Crazy Kamabla is indeed crazy. I hear there is a big movement to bring back Crooked Joe. Folks, when you saw the speech by Vice President Kamala Harris and her VP pick, Governor Tim Walls, and before that, the governor of the Commonwealth of Josh Shapiro, in addition to protecting our freedoms, in addition to standing up for our democracy, one of the things that I kept on thinking in my mind was normalcy. This is normal. I just want normalcy, and they represent normalcy. Contrast that with what Donald Trump is doing and posting right now. That's the chaos that they're talking about. The disorder, the chaos, the anger, the retribution, the weirdness. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers. So hit subscribe right now. It's free. Let's get to 3 million together. Thanks for watching. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.